Hello everybody, John Scratchwell back here again with another video, and today I bring you a very special and epic video of biblical proportions. Yes, uh, seeing as how DC not too long ago gave us the official roadmap to all their movies leading from uh, now to 2020, it was only fitting that Marvel did the same, and Kevin Feige, uh, uh, Feige or whatever the fuck, uh, the producer of the Marvel Cinematic Universe basically sat down, uh, had a humongous uh, press conference and gave us practically every single movie for uh, Phase 3 uh, that leads all the way to Avengers 3, which is now being titled Avengers Infinity War, and it's going to be separated into two parts, part 1 and 2. So, nevertheless, let me name off all the movies, and then I'll get into specific details about each one and uh, the ones I really want to see. Uh, coming up, uh, let's see, I'm not going to name the dates, I'm just going to name the titles real quick, so, we got Captain America 3 Civil War, which we already knew was going to happen, uh, Guardian, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which is another movie we all knew was going to happen, I mean, like, from the success of Guardians 1, we knew that it was going to have a sequel, uh, Thor 3 Ragnarok, uh, Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel is finally getting her movie, which is awesome, uh, Black Panther, every fanboy, any, every fucking Marvel fanboy's dream is coming true right now, uh, Doctor Strange, uh, Marvel's Inhumans, and of course the creme de la creme of all these Marvel movies is Avengers 3 Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2, which is oh, just glorious. It's just awesome. Uh, and also, uh, to mention real quick, uh, for this press uh, release, uh, well not, pre not release, but press conference for releasing all these titles to all the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, they released a really short teaser trailer, a really short teaser, kind of similar to the Age of Ultron one back in the day, uh, showed us the Infinity War teaser for both movies, so it was pretty interesting to see. It was, uh, spoilers if you've not seen it, uh, I'm pretty sure you can find it online, it was leaked, someone recorded it, obviously, I mean, like, who's not gonna do that? Hell, this is the fucking, the last Marvel, um, Avengers movie, so it's gonna be fucking epic. Uh, nevertheless, um... Uh, it, for spoilers, if you have not seen it, uh, stop right now, but if you want to know about it and you can't find it, well, I'm going to tell you the details of it right now. Uh, essentially, it opens up with Nuke, Nick Fury having a monologue or whatever, and uh, various montages of all the Avengers and uh, and the, the Infinity Gems uh, throughout the movies as we've seen them, you know, like in Avengers, Thor, Dark World, Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, shit like that, and we finally get our first epic, really badass look of Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet, which is so amazing, I want that as my poster on my wall, I want that as a poster on my wall, Thanos, Infinity Gauntlet, go, that's the shit right there, I fucking, I'm telling you, I fuck, I mean, we all know Ultron's gonna fuck shit up, but we know fucking... Thanos is going to come in and take it to a galactic level. A galactic fucking level, people. So, I mean, like, I thought Age of Ultron was my most anticipated movie, but you know what? Infinity War is hands down going to be my two most anticipated Marvel movies. But, uh, nevertheless, uh, let's get off the easy ones real quick that I'm not going to talk about that much. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, we already knew that was happening. Uh, I guess it, it's interesting to see Doctor Strange uh, finally got a, an actor who's going to be playing the role, and uh, it's it's not a hundred percent confirmed apparently, but we all know that it's apparently going to go. The role is going to be going to Benedict uh, Cumberpatch, which is really weird. I mean, like, uh, I mean, like, no offense to him, but uh, I don't really care for it. I mean, like, Doctor Strange, the movie itself. I mean, like, if the teaser, if the trailer itself to it is going to be badass and I like it, then maybe I'll see it, but as it stands now, I probably don't really have any intentions of seeing it, uh, Benedict Kemp Cumberpatch, he's a good guy, he's a cool guy, but, um, I don't know, I'd rather have, I'd rather have seen him as Brainiac in Just League Part 1 <laughs> more, but, uh, nevertheless, um, I guess, good luck to him, hopefully he does a badass job as the magician guy, uh, nevertheless, we got Thor Ragnarok, nothing really for me to say there, I mean, Thor, as a character itself, I was never a huge fan of. I mean, like, I know there's a humongous fan base for specifically, you know, Thor, but I don't know. I'm not really the biggest Thor fan, so I can't really sit here and, and say, like, oh, well, you know, it's it's the movie I wanted to see forever, you know? I mean, like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not the biggest uh, specifically, uh, Thor fan, and the movies, I've never seen them in theaters, and nor do I have any real intentions of seeing them, so, 
I don't really know. Uh, it's it's really strange. Nevertheless, let's move off of that and go into Black Panther, uh, which is the number one fanboy uh, dream. Uh, we all knew that Black Panther was happening. I mean, like it was the number one movie that every single uh, Marvel fan and comic book fan really wanted. Uh, uh, Disney and Marvel Studios to do to try and accomplish, and I think it's great that they're finally gonna like just you know what fuck it we're doing it, and uh, we all are gonna get really interesting hints and references to his character uh, from here on out. Apparently, we're gonna get references of Black Panther and Age of Ultron, and then after that in Civil War, which I'll talk about later, we'll get more references, uh, a, a setup, if you will. Uh, he might actually appear in the movie, so that's pretty interesting. But overall, we'll have a setup to him, and then we'll get into his solo movie, which is uh, Black Panther. And of course, we we got a release of his official costume of how he's gonna look. Uh, well, it's it's pretty simplistic, which is I think the best way to go with it. I mean, like it's it's good for what it is, and. Um, I don't know, there's not really anything else to say. I mean, like, Ch uh, um, Chadwick uh, Boseman, uh, the, um, the the actor who, who obviously not too long ago played James Brown, which is pre pretty hysterical, is going to be playing this character. So, I guess that's interesting to say the least. I mean, like, the, uh, the, the actor, he's a good guy. He's a good actor. He's been in pretty big movies. He's been killing it lately. So, I, I can see why they would want him to be Black Panther. So... I guess it's interesting to say at least. I, I, I can't wait. I mean, like, Black Panther, I, I really want to see. Don't get me wrong. I'm really hyped up to see Black Panther. It's one of the, the number one movies out of uh, all these movies, with the exception of Avengers uh, Infinity War that I really cannot wait to see. But at the same time, it's really going to be interesting to see how they accomplish it. Because, you know what? Aside from all these other movies, Black Panther feels like one of those movies that is could go either one way, you know? Because it's like... Like, all these other movies are galactic, and they're epic, and they're big, and they're kid-friendly. Like, all these characters are pretty much kid-friendly. But Black Panther, he's not really a kid-friendly character. He's, like, really balls-to-the-wall, crazy, psychotic, like, African from, a, a, like, a fucking make-believe section of Africa who fucking comes over and fuck shit up, you know? Like, that's kind of who he is. So it's kind of interesting to see how kids react to Black Panther. Uh, me, personally, I want to see it. I, I, I'm i pretty sure Chadwick Boseman's going to do a good job. Uh, I don't know who's going to be directing the movie, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, But Black Panther, I can't wait to see. It's going to be badass. Uh, also, we got Captain Marvel coming in, Miss Marvel. Uh, Carol Danvers is the character who's going to be playing her. Uh, uh, that version of Miss Marvel. So, fucking awesome. I, I can't wait to see. Uh, I don't think they have an actress named up already to have her be in the playing Miss Marvel yet. I don't, I don't really know. But um, overall, I think it's good that Marvel is actually going to do pull off a, a solo... Uh, uh, not a Wonder Woman. A solo woman comic book movie. You know, like, they never really accomplished that. And seeing as how DC is doing a Wonder Woman solo movie, it makes sense that they would do... Uh, a solo woman comic book movie for themselves. So I think it's good for, for them to do that. Uh, I can't wait to see it. I think it's going to be badass. All I hope for is that she looks the way she is in the comic, comic books. I don't want her to have some kind of super detailed costume that doesn't make sense or, or is tech-based and, like, it's like covers her whole body. No, I want it to be full-on, like, revealing and, and cloth-like, you know, kind of similar to the Black Panther costume. Uh, but anyways... Nevertheless, uh, another really epic movie that I can't wait to see is Captain America Civil War. Uh, this is the number one movie I'm pretty sure most fans are looking forward to. We all know that uh, Robert Downey Jr. is going to co-star in the movie as Iron Man himself. So we all know that Cap and Iron Man are going to be at each other's throats. They're fucking button heads. They're, you know, crazy. But here's the interesting thing, folks. Is Spider-Man going to be in Civil War? We don't know yet. Uh, the producers of... Civil War and uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe have yet to release any kind of details as to whether or not Spider-Man will be featured in Civil War because, as we all know, Spider-Man plays a big part in Civil War, but we still don't know if Sony is going to give up the rights for Disney and Marvel Studios to, to use Spider-Man for this movie. So it's going to be interesting as to whether or not what happens. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. I hope Sony just lets them do it. You know, I hope Disney just goes ahead, Marvel Studios just goes ahead and does it because I think if, if they put Spider-Man in the middle of Captain America and Iron Man and, that, and that's on the poster, that shit's going to sell money. And I fucking cannot wait to see that, especially 
now that it's not going to be on the same day as Batman v Superman, I'm f fucking balls to the wall. Wait, can't wait to see that movie. So, nevertheless, I can't wait to see it. And uh, Inhumans, also a pretty big movie that I can't wait to see. We all knew that we got hints and teases as to Marvel Studios possibly doing them. But it's confirmed now that they're officially doing it. I can't wait. Uh, uh, I'm not a big fan of Inhumans, but from what I've been seeing from them and what I've been um, reading from them, they're pretty badass characters. So I can't wait to see it, uh, see what they what Marvel Studios accomplishes with them. Uh, I think this movie may come out post Infinity Wars. I don't know. It might come in between the Infinity Wars, but um, possibly before Part Two, or uh, you know, I think. But um, overall, I guess it's gonna be interesting how that plays. Uh, a factor in Avengers Infinity War. So I guess it's going to be interesting to see how that um, plays out. But overall, I can't wait for all these movies. In the comment section below, let me know what you personally think about all these movies that Marvel Studios has officially announced. Uh, what do you personally want to see? Which ones are you most anticipated for? Which movies that you don't really care for? Uh, for me personally, my most anticipated movies that they've mentioned already, aside from Age of Ultron and Ant-Man, of course, uh, I can't wait to see Civil War, uh, Inhumans, Cap, uh, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, and of course, uh, Avengers Infinity War Part 1 and 2, so those I can't wait for, uh, Doctor Strange, Guardians 2, and Thor Ragnarok, I, I'm not really, I'm on the fence about, like, I'm not really, you know, like, in hopes for seeing those, and, and for the rest of the movies, uh, I want to see them too, also. Overall, I'm fucking happy. I, it's gonna be fucking mind exploder, fucking jizzing all over the place, blood out of my ears, fucking, you know, comic book time, you know, from here on out. But, uh, all I can f hope for is that these movies are, you know, play out to their full potential and, like, are badass movies, you know. And that goes for DC, too, you know, because seeing as how we're gonna get all these movies, I can't wait to see what Warner Brothers announces next. I mean, we all know that the the Batman v Superman teaser trailer is going to be coming out soon so hopefully they tease out something pretty epic and uh and I just hope we get some really awesome stuff from both these companies you know because we all know that Disney Marvel Studios and uh and Warner Brothers are the two big dogs of comic book movies for from here on out so it's going to be interesting what comes to play uh personally in the comment section below, once again, tell me what you personally think about all these movies being made. What do you think about Black Panther? What do you think about Captain Marvel? What do you think is going to happen in Civil War? How do you think they're going to change it from the comic book to the movie? Uh, what, uh, who do you think is going to be joining up the Avengers for Infinity Wars? Who do you think is going to leave? Because we all know, possibly, we might get a new lineup. And, of course, who will win in the end? Who is going to win, people? We all know... Somebody's got to give and someone's going to die, but who's going to fucking come out on top? Is it going to be the Avengers or is it going to be Thanos? It's it's up to us to finally fucking see what happens, how this all unfolds. Uh, he got the fucking Infinity Gauntlet, so shit's going to go down. Uh, how, do, how do the fucking Inhumans play into a factor on this? I, just, we're gonna, I guess we're going to just fucking have to wait. Uh, this, is, this is the painful part, the waiting. But um, nevertheless... Fucking can't wait for all these movies. Fucking awesome sight. Uh, let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. And I hope you guys enjoyed this Ben Jonska 12.